Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for stopping by. It's Wednesday the 13th of January and I am on Chapel Street. That is Kent Road down there. That is Graceland's Bed and Breakfast. Next to that is the Fern Villa Guest House. I have filmed around here recently because even yesterday when I was on my way home from shopping I filmed the top of Chapel Street. There's Thomas Dream House. There's a wishing well outside. Providing free family holiday experiences for children and teenagers with life-threatening illnesses and their families. That is K Street. Yeah, I was filming Chapel Street yesterday, but the reason I'm back here again today is there is ongoing work at the top. So I want to keep you guys up to date with that. And it is raining. So I'm trying to cover my camera up a little bit. So sorry if it wobbled then. So I'm going to get to the top of here and we can all take a look together at how the work's going on. Sadly I don't know how much you'll be able to see because obviously all the work taking place is underground, they're actually filling in the underground subways. And there's a part of me that's a little sad about that because there was part of me that always hoped, excuse me, they reopened it, that they'd just do it all up and reopen it and let people use the underground walkway again. But apparently it's been closed for so many years now and abandoned that it's become unsafe. So they're going to fill it in, they're going to pump some of that lightweight foam concrete in there just to permanently fill it in so that'd be something else underground in Blackpool that's been filled in if you've seen my videos what I uploaded around a month ago I uploaded the footage of when they were filling in the underground toilets on Talbot Square that was 2018 when that happened but I recently collated all my footage together and made it into one video. The underground Bethesda Square toilets, they haven't been filled in. And I don't really see them ever being filled in because it's not as if there's traffic passing over the ground or anything. And the underground toilets on Station Road haven't been filmed in either. Filmed in? Filled in! Ugh. I'm going to leave my bloopers in. Usually when I say the wrong words, I stop the video, redo whatever I'm saying and... Yeah, take out the blooper. But today I'm just going to do the whole thing in one take. So, any mistakes I make, I apologise for, but they are going to just be in the video. So here we are now at the end of Park Street, and as we saw yesterday, it is only the very end bit that's closed off. So you can still drive down Chapel Street, you just can't go straight onto the prom via Chapel Street. You can either turn down Foxhall Road if your intentions are to get to the prom and go left or if you want to drive up the prom and turn right you can turn down Bonnie Street There's really not a lot you can see I'm wondering why all this bit here for now is and so I'm guessing this will be the bit where they're pumping the concrete in first 
I don't know, would that make the road unstable while the work was going on or would it affect the concrete from drying? But that's basically all you can see from down there. It's not a lot at all. I wish I could go down there and take one last look and one last walk through off the underground subway, but sadly, definitely not going to be able to do that. And I've got water on my lens, let me just wipe it off with my finger. As we all know, that is the way the professionals do it. I'm just going to try and cover my camera up. I've got a spare mask, so I'm kind of holding it over the top of my camera and just hope that will keep a bit of the rain off. I'm not going to stay too long on Chapel Street though, because, like I just said, there really isn't a lot of different stuff I can show you. If there was a lot of stuff I'd be showing, I would hang around more and I would film more. I'm actually on my way to Morrison's. But I'm just going to walk down via the prom and turn up Talbot Road and get there that way. But just before I do that, I'm just going to give you folks a little look out to sea and on the beach on this cold, wet, rainy day. It's not actually freezing cold or anything, it's just one of those cold damp days to me there's many different levels of cold and I don't just mean by virtue of how many degrees it is outside I mean there's a type of cold where there's no wind and the sky is bright blue and there's no clouds in the sky and even though it's cold on days like that you can sort of enjoy the weather because you just layer up with thermal tights and stuff under your jeans or whatever pants you're wearing and then nip out and do your shopping or take your walk or whatever and then there's the freezing cold days when it snows and you've got to really really layer up and there's all thick snow everywhere although we don't get a lot of thick snow in Blackpool and then there's days like this where it's cold and although it's not freezing cold, it feels colder because the air itself is damp. I mean, it is raining, but it's that horrible, fine rain. The kind of rain where it doesn't actually feel like it's raining, but it soaks you way quicker than normal rain because those drops are so fine. A central pier, all closed up. And take a look there. Hopefully that will open around Easter. And we can look over there, see the promenade, see Chapel Street, see where all the work is going on. This is where the subway came out, you know, around here. Not where I'm standing, more just a little bit over here where these railings are. Because the old lifeboat house stood there, right next to the pier. And as far as I remember, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, the subway entrance came out more or less next to the old lifeboat house. So the old lifeboat house was right there, next to the pier. And the subway entrance was around here. Ran across maybe a little bit over to this side, I'm not sure. And it ran all the way under there and came out on the other side. So, yeah, that is today's vlog. So, sorry that wasn't more exciting for you, but I did want to get you a full update on what's going on on Chapel Street today. So right now I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like and a comment and please subscribe.
and I'll see you all very very soon in the next video. Goodbye.